Hello and welcome to ChiefTutor.com, training videos in Chief Architect. In this version we're going to be discussing how best to build a backsplash and we're going to primarily look at how to make a detailed black backsplash. So um, let's get started. Uh, the first thing I have here is just a simple kitchen that I've drawn up you can see and it comes with the default backsplash on these base cabinets the chief has so I'm going to just double click it and show you we got that normal four inch that's all set up three quarters thick and that's the standard that comes with uh, chief architect so I'm just going to use it and what I'd like to do is make that one pattern all the way across and then I'd like to put another pattern maybe like a rope or something in between and then put another pattern and then why don't we just finish it off with even yet another pattern on top of that and that way we can kind of color it and make it the way we want and the simplest way to do this really is with the polyline solid tool and the way I like to do it is I'll use the elevation tool and I'll draw it against the back wall that I want to start on which is that sink wall and I'm just going to zoom in and um, let's go ahead and get this area. I'm going to go to my polyline solid tools and holding down left mouse I'm just going to drag out a little square of the polyline and let go and it creates a polyline for me. Now since I did the polyline right on the drywall Chief is a, uh, basically going to put this uh, polyline right up against the drywall which is great if you happen to put it on the cabinet or drag over a thing it might kick it forward and you'll have to go back to the 2d plan view and push it to the back wall but everything's set there now I remember that my backsplash was three quarters thick so I'm going to double click this and I'm going to change its thickness to three quarters as well so we can keep it all kind of even and you can make it thicker if you feel you need to I'm going to go ahead and stretch it down and bring it right here and then if I need it to a certain distance, I can measure. The measuring tools work in this mode, which is great. So you can go up and figure out what you need and what height and what not. I don't really care for this concern. I'm just going to kind of show you how I would do it. And I'm going to go ahead and just drag it straight across and right to the corner. Then the certain areas that needs to be behind. Now, luckily enough, the trim molding on this window is thicker than three quarters, so it's sent it behind. So it's good. I don't need to really cut around that. So let's go ahead and start our next one. We'll go polyline solid, and I'll just drag it up to here like so. And then let's grab that, and I'll move it right to the window. And obviously, I can't move it across the window because it'll go through the window. So I'm just going to adjust it right to the corner like that and then I'm going to use this tool copy and paste in place and it pastes another one right in the place so I could just drag it straight over and continue to use it that way I know I got the same height and width and all that good stuff okay now let's keep going why don't we uh, do one last one we'll do up here and we'll go like so and we'll stop and again I had forgotten to and I will select all three of these holding down shift open them up and reduce them to the 0.75. There we go. Now let's copy this one. Copy in place and just drag it straight over. There we go. And then push it all the way down. Now once this is accomplished it's smart to start coloring the backsplash so you know what's what. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go into the, uh, the high camera mode here and we'll point it towards the backsplash. And let's start spraying the backsplash with colors that we want to use. So why don't we use the manufacturer library because I know Dell Tile has a lot of cool different tiles that we can use. And um, let's go ahead and grab some of these funky ones, shall we? How about how about one of these? Okay, that sounds good. And I'll apply that to I don't know, say this middle section seems to be okay. I need to fix the texture, obviously, but that's good enough for now. And let's go back and get lots more of these colors. Okay, I got that color. I got this color. Yeah, why don't I try something like that? And I'll put that on this backsplash. Now, since this uh, individual pieces, you might have to click and select the individual ones so Chief can understand as you're going around. And let me just grab this color and try to finish that off. Okay, so I got that color there. Let's go back and get some more colors. Do, 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 do. My computer's taking forever. I think it's because I'm trying to record it while I'm doing it. 
I don't know, maybe. Let's take this funky thing. I don't care. I mean, we're just trying different ones in different ways and kind of show you how uh, textures work as well as um, how to build the backsplash. And um, also, you might want to watch the video that um, Patricia has in her section on ChiefTutor.com. She's got some really great texture videos. And one of them does deal with the backsplash, so it's very nice. Okay, let's take this one for the last one. Bada boom, bada bing. So I'm going to zoom in here and grab my rainbow tool, and I'm just going to kind of tweak things around. Since I know that that's around four or five inches, um, I'm going to change this. I'm going to go, this should be nine, and this should be, whoop, say five. And we'll click OK. And there we go. Now it might need to get adjusted a little bit more, but you know what might be cool is if I just adjust it manually like that. And then I can bring this one up to touch that one. And what's great is, since I fixed this texture, it worked all the way across on all my textures. So now let's uh, continue on. I'm going to take the rainbow tool, and I'm going to select this texture down here. And I'm going to make it 6 by 6, and I'm going to turn it to a 45 degree angle. And click OK. And there we go. We got another backsplash like texture going on there. And again, let's make it even smaller. Let's go three by three. Yeah, just what the heck. And lastly, we have this bad boy, which um, let's see what happens when I do stretch to fit. Kind of stretches them out long wise. That's kind of cool. But reality is, I mean, you'd want to make this thing look good for a client, obviously. I'm going to try 60 by 20, see what happens. Mm. I don't like that. So now I'm going to try maybe 10 by 10. Click OK. And there we go. Now we're starting to get a little bit more definition. And I didn't like the white, so we'll go ahead and apply that. There we go. That way it looks a little bit more uniform. Now also, this color really stands out. So why don't I take it and bleed it a little softer? Just see if that helps. So it's not so in your face, you know. So anyways, uh, there we go. We're, we're doing pretty good, I think. Um, then next is maybe coloring the countertop. And this, you know, Chief always has that default brown, which is, it's not all that great. Not all that great at all. I have a nice little Santa Cecilia type one here. Um, and uh, I'll see if I can't post it on the website as well so you can have it. And let me just go around and tap the countertop here and there. But this is basically how you do it. And then you just follow it up again, uh, the same method over here, and building a backsplash. And, and that's basically it. it. It's very simple, very easy. One thing to note, though, when you do put in your electrical outlets after the fact, uh, like let's say I push one in here now. Let's see if it attached it. Mm, doesn't look like it. So let's go ahead and attach it right there. We want to open it up open up the electrical outlet and see it has this distance from wall so put that in like 0.75 that way it'll bring it off the wall and put it flush to your tile so you can see the outlet and the same thing goes with switches and stuff you want to keep it so um, you can modify it uh, the thickness of what you're doing on the tile backsplash so that's it that's been uh, messing with tile backsplashes here at chief hope you learned something and I'll talk to you again soon